I saw you just kiss both those belts as you put them over your shoulder. Congratulations, you become the 11th ever unified welterweight champion of the world. Describe this moment for me. It feels good. It's a lifelong dream of mine. It shows that hard work pays off. And I'm just, I'm happy to Sean Porter gave me this opportunity. Thank you for Al Hammond. Thank you, Fox, for putting on this network and this big platform. Thank you for all my people from Texas for coming out. You know what's up? Tough and go the distance like it did. Uh, Sean Porter, he's a he's a rough, awkward fighter. He made it real awkward for me. And um, I didn't look how I wanted to look. I looked kind of sloppy in there, and I didn't get off how I wanted to. But that's just credit to Sean Porter. He's a true champion. He's rough. He's rugged, and he always comes to fight. You know, you didn't knock him out, but you did knock him down. How much confidence did that knockdown give you? And you said you wanted to throw punches with bad intentions. It was just a, a quick, short left hand there. But did it have a lot of bad intention on it? Oh, definitely. All my punches had bad intentions tonight, like I showed everybody. You know, I boxed against Mikey Garcia, but I want to show everybody that I can't sit there with one of the toughest, roughest fighters in the welterweight division, sit there and bang with him, and that's what I did. You just mentioned Mikey Garcia. That was a battle of the jab. This one was a battle of the body shots. How powerful were his body shots? Oh, he was strong, but like I said, I feel like I'm the bigger, I'm the stronger, welterweight, and I'm the smarter. But I'll credit Sean Porter. He showed a tremendous heart.